Hello and welcome to this live webcast from the Citizens Summit in Birmingham. For the first time, we can see policy making in action. Thank you so much for coming. You've come from all over the country. What we're doing here today is really important. This is about getting the health service right, but it is also about a new way of doing politics and making policy. What we'd like is for each table to come up with the top three things that your table thinks are working well, and the top three things that your table thinks work less well. The choices you make today may very well influence what happens in the future. There's something called exercise or prescription, which we've got um, in the Blackburn area, but it's not just typical things like gym. They've got Pilates, yoga, walking groups, salsa dancing, and even horse riding. You know, I think people recover so much better in their own homes, with their own surroundings, and, and community health professionals can come in and help them in their own home. 80s, 90s, consultation by various governments, but you don't see an end product, do you, from it? So maybe that it's lost its appeal. Some mothers have other children, babies, maybe they need to leave with their husband before they can take the toddler to the surgery. Yeah. It has to come down to generalisations. That's the only way the government can act. We can't act on every little tiny thing. It's not about convenience for you. It's actually that you want the continuity with the GP. And when you find a good one, you want to stay with them. And if you move, you don't want to lose that. Not only are they really deliberating the policy options and the trade-offs very well, um, they're also doing an amazing job. Actually, they're already developing their own solutions to things which will be feeding back in at the end of the day for them to vote on as well so it's, it's really genuinely interactive. We've all been sitting for a very long time today and we thought it might be quite good to stretch out some of those kinks. Help should be given to elderly people but by doing that you're creating a pecking order of um, who you should give care to. Just because you're in your late 70s, you've got a right to live like everybody else. If you need treatment, you've got the right for it. They like to hear what other people have got to say and they like to bounce their ideas off each other. It was very interesting how people wanted to be able to have more time to talk to their pharmacist or their local chemist about uh, their needs. Part of what we're trying to do in this um, consultation is find out what care services that people need in order to have the confidence and the peace of mind to want to live in their home for as long as possible. Please vote. This is a really important question, really important issue. Please will you all vote now. The patients here haven't been given a blank sheet, but still, this level of consultation is unprecedented. How much difference it's made will only be clear when the government publishes its own plans later this year. For most people, their experience of the NHS isn't about hospitals or waiting lists. It's about the simple things, like how to get an appointment with a GP. And that's why ministers are here today listening, hoping they can make it better so that patients will have a better experience when they use the NHS. I cannot believe how exciting and interesting and for me, really useful today has been this kind of real serious engagement between citizens and government, I hope, is going to be part of the future of our democracy. And thank you for being part of it.